Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about install WSL2 in Windows 11 and run Linux GUI apps. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, before you do anything, first of all, look for Windows features, turn on and off. So I'll just search for it. Here it is. I'll just click on that one. From here, you have to enable two of the options. First one will be virtual machine platform and the second one will be Windows subsystem for Linux. I have enabled both of them. So I'll just click on OK. In your case, it will ask you to restart your system after doing some of the things into your Windows 11 as you will be doing it for the first time. After you are done with this one, now open your command prompt or PowerShell as an administrator. And now we need to enter a command which is WSL space hyphen hyphen install. It will install the WSL2 into your Windows 11. As it says, it has already been installed into my Windows 11. So I do not need to do it once again. In your case, it will take a little bit of time, so be patient. I'll just close this one and now I'll open my Microsoft Store. Here it is. In here, I look for my Ubuntu. So I'll just write here, Ubuntu, hit enter. Well, here we have different version available of our Ubuntu. We have Ubuntu 20.04, Ubuntu 22.04, Ubuntu 18.04. I'll just click on this one and I will install it into my Windows 11. Here it has started the download process. It will take a little bit of time. So we'll wait for it and then we'll install it into our Windows 11 with the help of our WSL. And then I'll show you that how you can run your GUI apps into your Windows 11. We are done with the download. Now it's time to open and install it. So I'll click on open and here it says this may take a few minutes installing. So we'll wait for it as it will get complete. Now here we need to enter a username. I'll name it as Zubair and now we need to enter our password. Again, enter your password to confirm it. And now we are good to go as we are done with everything in here. Now what we need to do, we need to update our Ubuntu before we do anything. So I will write here sudo apt space update hit enter. Give it your password hit enter once again. And now it will update our Ubuntu. And as we are done with this one, we'll move ahead and we'll download one more thing from our Microsoft Store and that will help us to run our Linux GUI apps into our Windows 11. So we are done with this one. Now I'll head to my Microsoft Store and here I'll just write GWSL hit enter. Here it is. I'll just click on it. Well, here it says X server. It means it is built on X system. And this will help you to render your Linux application onto your Windows 11. I'll just click on open and it will install into our Windows 11. Here it says welcome to GWSL. Just click on OK. And here it is and it is up and running. So here in case if you see any error, just click on allow access and you will not see any error in future. And here our taskbar. Here we have our GWSL running. I'll just click on that one. So basically with our Linux distribution, these are different things that we get. We get Linux apps, Linux files, Linux shell and many other things. If I just click on Linux file, it will open the file structure of our Linux into our Windows 11. So here if you see here we have the file structure of our Linux, but it is opened into our Windows 11. It is getting rendered with the help of our GWSL tool and it is getting shown up onto our Windows 11. Now I'll install some of the application into my Ubuntu and then I'll show you that how you can use them. This is our Linux terminal or Ubuntu terminal. So here I'll download and install some of the application. I'll write here sudo apt install gimp hit enter. It will download and install gimp and gimp is basically a tool that we use for image editing or picture editing. It will take a little bit of time, so we'll wait for it and then we'll move ahead. So here we are done with the download and installation of our GIMP. 
and now I'll install my VLC media player into my Ubuntu. So the command for that is sudo space apt install VLC hit enter. So here if you see the process has just started I'll press Y to confirm it hit enter. Now it will download and install VLC media player into our Ubuntu and after we are done with this step then I'll show you that how you can open your Linux GUI apps into your Windows 11. So we are done with the download and installation of our VLC as well. Now to open your application there are two ways. Either you can just write the name of application like I have written here GIMP hit enter. It will open the GIMP into my Windows 11 and with the help of our WSL the GIMP will get rendered and then it will get opened into our Windows 11. Or other than that we have another way. Just go to your taskbar and open your GWSL. If you see we have a section that says Linux apps. Just click on it and select your Ubuntu. I have Ubuntu 20.04. So here if you see we have GNU image manipulation available. I'll just click on that one in order to launch it into my Windows 11 through my Ubuntu. So here if you see the GIMP has just got launched into our Windows 11 and it is ready to be run. And that was all about this video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.